So why I work from home on my flat um, is for a bit of peace and quiet, basically. I work in a very hectic office um, where there's a lot going on, there's a lot of people, um, huge amount of traffic. I get distracted and get involved in things that I probably shouldn't. So when I work from home or I work from from my flat, you know, it gives me a, a break and I can properly concentrate on what I need to do. Um, well, well, immediately, I think, it's, it's when I first um, moved in here, I, I started thinking about it. In fact, three months before I moved in here, I thought about the space, you know, I did drawings, I worked about in a nice way to position everything. I've got a set of shelves here that's got all my reference material and all my books on it. Um, I keep everything in archive drawers over here. So yeah, yeah, it needs to be really organised. I need to know where everything is in it. And it needs to function really well. But also it needs to tidy away at the end of the evening. Mm -hmm. um, because you can't have stuff lying around. Otherwise you get up in the middle of the night and start working on it. I don't switch off. Yeah, so I guess there is a downside. Um, but I enjoy what I do, so I don't really, I don't really see it as being a, a huge intrusion as such. Um, but yes, the temptation to work the whole time is there. Um, and, you know, if I'm sat on the sofa for an hour watching and some movie and I've, I've got my work there, I, yeah, I won't be distracted. So yes, it does have a downside. Um, well, I swim every morning. Um, it's the first thing I do. I get up and it's it's the start of my day, really. And when I do work from home, that's the, that's the cut-off point. So I go out, I go for my swim. And then I come back, and it's you know I, I take it on as an office environment. So it's a it's a real it's a real trigger to to a different step to the day. Yeah, I guess the size of the project is 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 a big factor in it. Yeah, is a big factor in it. Um, you can do little projects within the office, but something that you are again I use the big black book as a, an example. You know, I was making decisions about the size, making decisions about the paper, making decisions about the typography. So there was a there was a, a, a grander scale of things that needed headspace that you know, wasn't just deciding about a typeface singularly, it was a big project. Yeah, so two things I guess, I guess the size of the project and and the deadline determines when I take myself out of the office environment. Um, so yeah, I mean living here it just, just appeals to my sense of order and sense of organisation. Um, yeah, apart from the building works outside, it's a very clean, organised, structured place that's got everything I need to function.